In September, we told you about a local athlete training for the World Marathon Challenge. Well, Nick Wishart has completed the Herculean task, and he caught up with our Ruthie Polinski to recap his journey. The majority of people don't complete one marathon in their life. Nick Wishart completed seven in seven days on seven continents. More tired than sore. I was sore for the first couple of days. I definitely have like a little World Marathon Challenge hangover. It was amazing. I mean, the people from all over the world, all different running abilities, all but one of us made it through. Wishart said he felt prepared for the week, but that doesn't mean it was easy. Just night running, you know, four nights in a row. It was getting into a city at seven, starting to run it like by nine or ten. And running to one or two in the morning, getting like an hour or two or three in the hotel, and then right back down to the lobby. The final race took place in Miami, and when crossing the finish line, Wishart was greeted by some familiar faces. Last hour of the run, just really slow things down, take it all in, and just remember all the people that helped me get to that point, and then, then to see many of those same people at the finish, it was it was pretty awesome. Wishart is officially the first Rhode Islander to complete the World Marathon Challenge, and he accomplished this amazing feat all for a good cause. We chose the March of Dimes, the Food Bank, and the SPCA. Bouchard says he won't be taking on other obscure challenges anytime soon. I'm not going to try anything else crazy, but I'll come up with something. In Pawtucket, Ruthie Polinski, Eyewitness Sports.